Hello, welcome back to this episode, episode two of Swatching My Indie Collection. I'm just sharing with you where I store all my polish right here, and then we're going to stop at a drawer and swatch through it. So I think, what did I decide last time? There are 10 or 13 drawers of indie polishes, so this is drawer number two. Some of them are dedicated all to specific brands, but a bunch of them are mishmash, like this drawer. So you're going to see a number of different brands in here. I'm going to be showing you the bottle shot before I swatch it. If you only watch me swatch one coat, that means I decided after just one coat if I need to keep it or not. If you watch me swatch two coats, that means I'm still like trying to decide. Like I'm about to do that with this one here. And then I will show you at the end of swatching across all five fingers on the one hand, which polishes I have decided to de-stash, if any, out of that batch of five. So if you don't see me um, show you any like little groupings of polish after I'm done swatching the five, that means I could not part with any of them. And that does happen a number of times in this video because I love polish. That's why I have a lot of it. But... I also realized that I can't keep every little thing that I've ever purchased or received as PR. And so the things that I'm deciding to de-stash are polishes that I'm thinking are probably pretty similar to other things that I have. And unless they're in a particular color spectrum, like purples, I am trying to de-stash things that look very similar to other things. So hello, how are you today? If you're joining me again for this video because you enjoyed the previous one, I'm glad you're enjoying it and watching me swatch all my indies. These are just my favorite things to swatch because every little bottle is a piece of art. And hopefully you are gleaning from the bottle shots before I swatch each thing, what everything is, so you're not feeling like you're missing out my explaining. Um, but in case you missed so far, we've swatched Glam, Bees Knees Lacquer, Pretty Beautiful Unlimited, and that was a Clarissa Carol. Here is KB Shimmer. This is a linear hollow kind of grungy forest green. So, so beautiful. And, you know, the hoarder in me just wants to keep all the polishes because everything is just so, so beautiful. And please keep in mind as we go along, as I told you in the previous video, these have all already passed an initial like decision when I swatched them first at Swatch Fest, if I knew that this was something for me or if I knew I wanted to kind of like pass it on, um, whether in a giveaway or, you know, whatever I'm doing to a friend or who knows what. These are already things that I previously decided I want to keep. Everything here is something that I love. Um, <laughs> I really do sound like full hoarder vibes there. But, I mean... I just, I find that in my brain, I have to fight against my tendencies to hoard things because I get a little bit too distracted from too much stuff and I have a little bit of hard time like sorting through my life when it's cluttered with a lot, a lot of things. So I think in this um, five piece we're doing right now, I think this might be a five piece that I don't de-stash anything. I'm so sorry. This glam, for example, is this kind of ghostly very very pale green with awesome Halloween looking glitters this snowy white from Clarissa Carol is just so soft and delicate and twinkling but in any case enjoy me swatch these polishes enjoy watching me enjoy me swatch that doesn't make any sense um I hope you're having a good day how are you today are you having a good one or is this a hard one Hopefully, whatever kind of day you're having, you can get some relaxation. Just turn your brain off a little bit. Watch me swatch these colors. This olive from Night Owl Lacquer is so gorgeous. The shimmer in here is so, so beautiful. So I hope you're going to get out of this video what I get from nail polish, which is like it helps me turn my brain off a little bit. I can focus on watching the polish be swatched, looking at the beautiful formulas, looking at the beautiful colors, appreciating these makers um, hard work and passion for polish and just enjoy that and don't worry about the stuff that you've been stressing about is causing you anxiety today just enjoy watching me swatch these beautiful things I think this one is a world of warcraft inspired polish I think that's why I purchased this one even though 
Um, I'm not normally leaning towards shades like this. Oh, I did decide to de-stash this one after all. Maybe you'd like me if you knew me from Cadillac. Or, oh my gosh, this one's a thermal and it shifts so fast. Watch that. Boom. It's like it can barely sit on my nail for a second before it shifts to blue. And I wasn't even like particularly warm or anything that day. It was crazy. This one I ended up being a little bit on the fence whether or not I should keep it just because it was like a little bit streaky of two coats. I wasn't really sure, but I just thought, I think this is pretty singular in my collection. Let me go ahead and hang on to this interesting, super, super shifty thermal. Quickly, quickly changing. Not shifty, but quick changing. This is Missed Me from KB Shimmer. KB Shimmer has come out with so many rad polishes in the last couple of years. Super, super intense. I haven't tried any of their new reflective glitter polishes that they just released in the recent collection, but those look really fun as well. I have to say, I think I have purchased enough reflective glitter polishes to last me for a little bit just shopping through Polish Pickup. Uh, but I definitely want to go take a look at that collection and see what I think. This is Nobody Likes a Soggy Bottom from Rogue Lacquer. This was from a Great British Baking Show trio that they did on the For the Love of Polish box. I love the Great British Baking Show, so I'm a sucker for anything that's inspired by that at all. But besides that, this has like a seafoam green base with purple flakies. So cool. There's No Place Like Home, inspired by Dorothy Gale from Wizard of Oz, I believe. And this one is so pretty. It probably is like a pretty good three-coater just because it has a very light base. But I thought it was so pretty. It has Pinkie Pie flakes in there, I think. That just means it, that's my nickname for it. It's going pink to orange. And then a mix of white glitters. It's just so beautiful. And... The Wizard of Oz really makes me nostalgic for my childhood. I feel like that pay played a pretty big part in my childhood. This polish from Colors de Carol. This was released in the same collection as that snowy polish we just swatched a minute ago. That whole collection was divine. I think it was a quad and it was pretty limited edition. Anyway, I'm obsessed with that color and the whole snowy wintry aspect of that quad. This is what's been on my thumb for this little portion of the video. And it's this really interesting like dirty coral with this strong lime gold shimmer and I think linear hollow just a really really interesting color that I don't have anything else like it in my collection next we have blush positronic brain this is a swampy mossy green jelly it's a very yellow green jelly and I think it has micro hollow flakies in it so super interesting but to be honest I kind of forgot about this in my collection and so that's another reason if I'm putting some on and I'm not just like oh I have to wear this again right now I'm thinking I might be okay to part with it I hate this prophecy from glam polish I think this comes from one of the Sabrina the teenage witch collections which I tried to watch that show and I didn't get good vibes from it and so it just was not for me so I don't necessarily have a strong reason to hold on to any of those polishes for the theme of them but if they're just like really calling to me in the color I just gotta hold on to them this is another Clarissa Carol. This is this really cool, like it's sheer, but it's this lovely brown neutral jelly and it's filled with all these really beautiful flakies. I love this one so much. It's the perfect color for my skin tone to just leave sheer like that, even at just one coat. I love it so, so much. I only needed to swatch it once. And here's the Falling Null Polish on my hands. This is bundled up from ILNP. This is this purple with green shimmer. I found while I was swatching through this drawer that I have a lot of purple with green shimmer polishes. It's kind of my jam. So coming to the realization that I have a lot of those kinds of colors in my collection, I was like, mm, maybe I don't need to hold on to all of them. Um, okay, so this is this beautiful glam. It's a really, really bright red, slightly orangey coral kind of color, but super bright. It's probably a neon base in there. And then it has shimmer and micro hollow flakies. This one is gorgeous. That name went by so fast that I didn't catch the name, but if you want to pause it and rewind it, most glam polishes are limited edition in a sense. Like, I don't know how long they'll stay on the website, but I'm pretty sure she... Um, advertises them as being limited edition. So I don't know how many of these things, actually for everything we're swatching today, I don't know how many of them will be available, but you can try searching for them in D stashes. 
you can try your hand at getting some of these polishes when I uh, put up my D stash sale in like July for everything that we're going to swatch through in these videos this year and the only thing about my sale that I'm going to do it's going to be very budget friendly but everything's a mystery so it would be really hard to like actually you know plan to get a specific thing that you're watching me swatch in this video and I apologize for that it's just I can't list every single thing it would be way too hard for me this is one of my favorite colors to carols ever I love nemesis of Eternia um so that's the only thing if you're wondering if I'm putting this any of these d-stashes up for sale yes I am but it will be a mystery to save on my sanity here we have this beautiful soft pink jelly from painted phalanges from my friend angie she's the maker of painted phalanges next we have surreal lights from night owl lacquer this is a kind of really interesting multi-chrome and it has all of these bright flakies in here so you're getting you're only really seeing one color shift in this multi-chrome but it's green and then it shifts through um, like blue violet gold it's really really shifty six shots of giggle water that's what's on my thumb here this is so beautiful i am such a fan of glam polishes she just has the best colors with the best fun she has a lot of fun with her polishes like everything has a great little like feeling of character in each polish i love it so this is packed with red gold green iridescent flakies and micro hollow glitter and i just had to hold on to this one so i mean can you blame me it's so stunning so next i have foreseeable fuchsia oh this might be a group of polishes where i don't get rid of anything this polish is so cool it's a fuchsia with a very strong sapphire glow but then it has kind of matchy fuchsia flakies that are going pink to orange i think mostly and it just is really has a lot of depth on the nail it's super super cool the next polish that we're going to swatch is a polish from Colorista Carol. This isn't a most OG Colorista Carol in my collection, but this one is a little bit of a ways back in the release, and I love this. It has a soft but like bright buttercup yellow um, base, and it's a linear hollow. Love that. Beyond from Great Lakes Lacquer. Mariah from Great Lakes Lacquer make some really cool polishes i have a hard time destashing any of them for one thing i don't have a ton of them in my collection and pretty much most of the stuff she makes doesn't remind me of anything else in my collection this is i think it said belief in you maybe something like that from different dimensions this is this really vivid like leaf green crelly kind of finish it's really really pretty uh, apparently I decided not to get rid of anything <laughs> again. Next we have Fair Maiden Ain't No Laws. This is this orange jelly and it's packed with micro hollow flakies and green to gold shimmer and iridescent flakies. This one ended up being a little sheer on me and I knew that I wouldn't probably remember to wear it as a topper. So I'm pretty sure I decided to desash this one. Although when I painted it on as I watch it here, it kind of looks like it's a thermal. I didn't notice it saying thermal on the bottle, but but I maybe just like totally spaced it on that one. So maybe it is like a orange to yellow thermal. This one is the only polish from this brand that I have. I believe it's a really opaque grayed out purple linear holographic. And I think I got it for the inspo, which was Game of Thrones, which I'm not really that like because Game of Thrones is over now. I don't know. She's not on the forefront of my mind. I think I might destash that one. This is this absolutely gorgeous glam polish again here what is this base color it is so so beautiful and then it has black glitters and then it has mermaidy kind of iridescent flakies there it is so pretty so i think i only swatched one coat of that sorry to san antonio with love this is from molly pop posse lacquer which i think is now called garden paths lacquer and it's this really yummy punchy pink filled with um tonally similar pink flakies and it just looks really beautiful the depth of this polish is so lovely and it's really nice and vivid and you know me and pinks i usually don't hold on to them but this one i had to keep that one was something special wave after wave from kb shimmer this one is so pretty it's this kind of grayish plum like very much on the gray side base and then it has a strong 
Red Shimmer and I believe Micro Hollow Flakies. So, so beautiful, really smooth application, really lovely shade. So here is what I decided to de-stash from that set. Salt Lake Serenity is up next. This is a painted polish, polish, and I think the first one in this video, right? So it's this lovely um, purple Crelly. As you can see, it looks kind of sheer at one coat, but it's going to uh, build up nicely in two coats, and it has Pinkie Pie again. So we have pink to orange iridescent flakies and it just looks so lovely and I know I just keep all the purples but I just can't help myself they make me so happy this one is you're my person from different dimension as you can see there's a whole rainbow in there in an iron blue base this one isn't calling to me when I put this on and I would nearly de-stash this but of the Grey's Anatomy reference and I just Rewatched the whole series last year when Tim was sick with my friend Leilani, and so it has a special meaning to me now. Next up, we have another Crelly from Glam Polish, and this one is like this rose mauve base. It's just gorgeous. This base color is so, so divine, and then I think it has red, gold, green flakies in there. Um, this one is a Night Owl Lacquer mustard shade or like a maize colored polish with a strong red gold shimmer. So beautiful. All the yellow polishes, you guys. All the yellow polishes. That's all I have to say about that. Have a ball from Wildflower Lacquer. I don't have a ton of polishes from Wildflower Lacquer. I tend to pick up a few at Polish Pickup when they fit like the color scheme that I'm looking for, which as you know is always red, pink, orange, and yellow for my swatch vest bin and this one is just so pretty um wow I moved quickly through that KB shimmer are you kidding me this is what's been on my thumb this is a rather sheer base but she packed so many iridescent flakies into the polish in this in this um formula that she did that you get coverage in two coats it's absolutely bananas Knights of the Republic from Glam Polish, this has a similar colored base to the Wave After Wave that we just looked at from KB Shimmer and like almost the same shimmer and the Micro Flaky. So I think I decided to de-stash this one. Um, that's why it's kind of nice once in a while, you guys, just to grab out your collection and just swatch them. Swatch them on each nail. Just have some fun with your polishes. Don't leave them in your Helmer bins to just sit there forever. Grab them out. Put a different polish on each nail. Wear Skittle Manny's, especially if you don't have to have a particular look for your office or whatever work appropriate shade this polish I'm obsessed with it is so bright it is an electric green with matchy shimmer making it so electric it actually goes to red as well it's a bright lime to red shimmer and I am so obsessed with that polish uh, this is let's try that again same kind of story as the glam that I just swatched this is pretty similar to the KB Shimmer, and since I already decided to keep the KB Shimmer, I think I will end up de-stashing this. This is slightly less grayed out and more purpley, but kind of, see how similar they look? So, oh, yep, I did. I decided to de-stash both of those two. So, next up we have Birthday Ghoul from Supernatural. This is one of my only Supernaturals, um, and it is... Oh, I guess I skipped the first coat. Maybe I'm going to do the first coat second. I don't know. Anyway, this is kind of sheer at two coats, and I am near to de-stashing it every time that I give it a little swatchy poo. However, I am stopped. Yep, look, I went in reverse order. <laughs> I'm stopped by how fantastic the elements are in this polish show. Even though it is sheer, I want to keep it and wear it as a topper if I need to. It is so beautiful and twinkly. You'll see it on my thumb for the main, the, I can't talk words for this portion of the video. Okay, this beautiful cupcake polish. This is this shimmering pinky orange. It is really, really beautiful. I, like you guys, I said, I don't tend to really keep the pinks except the ones that are really interesting and different. So I'm going to hang on to that. This is Spring Bouquet from ILNP. What a fantastic collection this one came from. It had hollow flakies and a very strong iridescent shimmer. So the green in here is just awesome. I really, really love it. So I'm hanging on to this one too. 
you do need to like wear it as a topper maybe or just have like a little bit of a sheer kiss of color look on the nail which I'm totally fine with. Fail gloriously from Dreamland Lacquer. Every Dreamland Lacquer that I own, I am basically obsessed with it. This is a pretty full coverage multi-chrome and I think it also has iridescent shimmer in there as well. It's just so beautiful, so dimensional. Can a heart still break once it stops beating? A beautiful glam polish white with very snowy, wintry feeling glitter mix in there. She has such fun glitter mixes. Always, um giving us a nice variety of, of shapes and sizes, which plays so nicely on the nail. Love it. Kathleen & Co. Haunted Moon. I don't have a ton of Kathleen & Co. This one is this really beautiful purple with a strong pink shimmer and then pink flakies. I, I might have de-stashed this one because I put it on my nails and it was less purple and more pink. And I was like, oh, I know that there's somebody out there that loves pink that's going to love this. So I think I might have de-stashed that one. I can't remember though. We'll we'll find out together in just a second. Storytelling from ILNP. I do have a lot of ILNP, ILNP if you guys noticed because I have been collecting them for a really long time. I've been I've never been affiliated with a brand or anything like that. But um and never sent PR. But I love to review their full collections on my channel and have for a really long time. So I do have a lot of ILNP. Um, this one is just this really beautiful deep dark purple, but I think for the efforts of the de-stashing-ness, I, I might have decided to de-stash that one. Honestly, I think I, I don't know, maybe this was another one where I was like, I can't part with any of these. We'll see in a second. It's like a surprise. You have to wait and see. Stella Chroma Spin Me Around. This one is a really cool multi-chrome. It looks kind of like a neutral till you build it up in two coats and then you can see the fun shifts as soon as you move your finger in a different angle than what you're looking at here. And then lots of big multi-chrome flakies as you can see. And then you're seeing a little peekaboo of my pinky nail. Um, this is, oops, it went too fast. Pretending to be something <laughs> from Glam. And, um, oh, I guess I didn't swatch the other one. Hmm. It might jump back in in a second. Um, this is the thumbnail. Um, I see what I did. I came back and did the thumbnail after I swatched the other ones and we're going to come back to the pinky. This is a gorgeous pink. <laughs> I'm jumping all over the place, you guys. From Glam Polish that I did decide to keep. And then this Cadillacer is this really awesome bright tomato. And it has blue glitters. And I just looked at that after it was on and I was like, dang. Okay, I only de-stashed that one. Next hand of nail polishes we have for Pete's sake from Top Shelf Lacquer. I remember when I fully got the when I first got this, how fully enamored I was with this polish. And swatching it again just now, I just found myself kind of like, this is so beautiful, but I think I have some other things like this. So I'm pretty sure I decided to de-stash this one, but this is for Pete's sake. It was a polish pickup exclusive. So multi-chrome with iridescent flakies. I love that combo. Horcrux from Glam Polish. I'm obsessed with this polish. It is a silvered purple with lots of hollow and iridescent flakies. And it is so, so gorgeous. And it's also called Horcrux. I didn't hold on to every single Harry Potter Glam Polish, even though I kind of wanted to. I didn't though. I passed some along that I knew that I wouldn't probably think about wearing again. Um, but I really love that one. Now, this is one of my oldest Calorsa Carols, and I love this one. I don't know if I'm saying this right, Bacano, but it is a silvery blue base with a very, very strong gold shimmer, and I love it. My visible nail line is a little strong for this polish, but I love it. This is straight out of Salem from Noodles Nail Polish, another brand that I don't have a ton of, and this is this really beautiful deep teal with copper and black glitters, and I was thinking about de-stashing this, and then I remembered why I held it through my last thoughtful process of de-stashing, and I just got to keep it for the name, straight out of Salem. Next, we have Butts from Heather's Hughes, and I have to admit, I think I got this one purely for the name from, it's inspired by Bob's Burgers, but once I put it on right here when I was swatching, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. The shade of blue is just so twinkling and special, and it has lots of flakies in there. Um, Joy's playing with a friend right outside my door in case you're hearing lots of kiddo noise right now, but they're so happy and they're so cute. Kissed by a Frog from Kathleen and Co. This one has been on my thumb and it may not look like much right there, but at two coats, I painted this on one coat and I was like, oh yeah, this polish. It is so 
awesomely metallic from the density of shimmer that she put in this polish. I just love it. Even though it is another purple with green shimmer, I think I decided to keep that one. This is the, is it the Temple of Temptation from J. Green? Something Temptation, and it is a pink jelly and it is really bright and pretty but for me I just the pinks really just have to call to me like with a siren's call otherwise I'm ready to pass them on just because it's not a color that I love very much your eyes can be so cruel this is my favorite nail hoot that I have I don't have a ton of them this is similar to Bacano if you're thinking did we just swatch something like that similar similar the shimmer is less dense but still very strong and it has micro hollow flakies i love this one so much i was just totally clueless from glam polish the perfect clueless dress or outfit shade that Cher wears at the beginning of the film i love it it was so perfectly concocted this polish so i have to hold on to it plus it is yellow so hello gotta hold on to it i am a little stitious from painted phalanges a michael scott inspired polish we have this lovely deep sailor to iron blue green shimmer i believe and green flakies as well super super fun all the office polishes you guys same thing with all the yellows, all the office. So this is what I decided to de-stash it looks like. City of Stars from Glam Polish inspired by that one movie with Ryan, Ryan Gosling and um, Emma Stone. I actually just rewatched this the other day. It's kind of like a, it's like a really slow film, but still fun to watch um, because the actor's chemistry is really fun together. I didn't even talk about that polish at all, but guess what? I'm keeping it. It has iridescent glitters in it in that lovely lavender lilac base. This is Treetops from Sweet and Sour Lacquer. I haven't said yet in this video because we haven't swatched any Sweet and Sour Lacquer, but I love Sweet and Sour Lacquer. Keeping that Treetops. This is Different Dimension Mars, which is a um, hollow flaky. Mostly it's primarily made up of these bright twinkling hollow flakies and then multi-chrome flaky shifting red copper gold I believe I swatched this at two coats and then decided that I think that I was ready to pass it on so I think this might be the only one I'm passing from this collection but you guys did you know I'm a huge different dimension fan huge I have so many of their polishes love 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 that brand this is painted phalanges and I think this is this day is bananas and it's inspired by Kelly from the office so again another office shade of course, I have to keep this. Also, this was in a duo that I did with Angie, inspired by Kelly from The Office. So super special polish to me. Tale as Old as Times from Cupcake Polish, inspired by Belle. A really yummy golden jelly base with a very strong red gold shimmer and hollow flakies. And it's yellow, and I love all the yellow polish. There is not enough yellow polish, so I gotta hang on to that one. So here's this beautiful different dimension. All right, next hand, that dreamers often lie. I don't remember what this one's from. This is what's on my thumb, though. It's this really beautiful, deep Concord grape shade with neon pink glitters and hollow, hollow micro flakies. Such an interesting combo here. Really, really pretty. I am almost positive that I ended up hanging on to that. I just couldn't part with it. Eyes on the prize. This is from KB Shimmer. What's going to be on my pointer finger? And <laughs> look at how densely those flakies are packed in there. Bam! This is an incredible polish. Loved that one. So, so densely packed. And so can't part with this. Even though it is kind of similar to some other things I have, I couldn't part with it. Write your own part from Night Owl Lacquer. Gorgeous black base. And then we have all of these silver flakies in here. And I believe green flakies. Super, super pretty. I think that I might end up de-stashing that one. I think along with this one as well. I remember I got this at a polish pickup and I have the mag magic lipstick that this polish is inspired by. And when I put it on again this time, I just thought, oh, I don't know if I will maybe like think that, think to wear this in the future. So when you have that kind of vibe when you're trying your polishes on, that's when it's a good idea to share it with somebody else that hasn't worn it yet and will really, really appreciate it. This polish from Different Dimension is just a snowy ice queen in a bottle. We are almost done with this video, by the way. If you've been thinking, I've been sitting here forever, we're almost done. Beyond the Veil from Cuticula. I don't have a ton of polishes from Cuticula, although I want to, but she, first her brand was only like nail care and top coat and things like that. And in the past few years, she has been doing polish thankfully. And I usually end up shopping her polishes at Hella Handmade Creations. And I just love Cuticula. Next is KB Shimmer. 
um, stay something, I think it said. Oops, I missed it. Just a beautiful brick linear holographic. So, so stunning. Goes on super smooth. I do have a few shades like that. So I think that I decided to destash it. Two KB shimmers in a row. Okay, this one is bananas. So, so gorgeous. Bright violet, witchy purple, and it has red, gold, green flakies in abundance and micro hollow flakies higher further faster baby I thought I was going to de-stash this in one coat because I was like oh it's a red and I don't really think to wear red that often but when you have this in two coats oh my goodness it is so beautiful it has stunning multi-chrome flakies that are accented so beautifully against that red base that I just had to keep it I'm trying to remember if this is a marvel themed polish it might be Stella Chroma is this did that say feel the chemistry? Something chemistry. This is a beautiful, soft, um, like a pastel lavender with lots of multi-chrome flakies and in like greens and golds and stuff. It looks really interesting against that base. So I think I held on to this one. And in this hand, I was reaching the last polishes from the drawer. So I'm swatching a few more on this hand and then we will say so long. Two best friends that anyone could have from Rogue Lacquer. This is a really beautiful antique white gold flaky primarily and then some purple flakies in there as well. I love purple and gold together so I just can't can't with those polishes. This is the final one we're going to look at today. And guess what? I didn't destash any polishes from this group. So so sorry to tell you that and I hope that you had some fun hanging out with me today.